about the Father's business, just as we are about the Father's business. Amen. But it was in a time when Jesus had just not too long left the scene. So the argument was still fresh in the mind. And Paul set about reasoning with the doubt that was still existing in the minds of those who witnessed the death of Christ if he was indeed the Messiah. When Jesus put in his appearance on the scene, from the moment he set foot on earth, controversy exists. <laughs> Kings tried to get rid of him. And when he was much older and his ministry was started, religious men tried to get rid of him. And as a matter of fact, they came up with a plot that the best way to shut him up was to kill him. But little did they know that they were about to fulfill prophecy. They thought that they were quieting Jesus. But they didn't know they were about to make a loud noise in the earth. A loud noise that even today is still being heard. Go ahead, go ahead. <coughs> we are an extension of that loud noise. Yes, sir. Amen. Because he commanded us to go and preach yes. the gospel. Amen. You see, the grave tried to quiet the noise, but I believe when he got down in the grave, ah, the, the hell, the hell, shook, yes. hell shook, hell shook. I can imagine those demons in an uproar that said, No, he's supposed to be dead. How is he moving in this place? Even today, men are trying to shut down this message. Yes. Hmm. Reach the word. Hallelujah. The world right now is on board because it's Easter. Yes, sir. Jesus. Everybody's observing uh -huh. the Easter season. Yes. Jesus. And you know anything about observing? When you observe, you don't get involved, you don't get anything. As my brother says, one encounter. Mm, one. This is not a time to observe. No. Because the situation that exists is a real one. Jesus came to this earth. Hallelujah. He was crucified. Hallelujah. He was treated like a dog by men. Uh -huh. The brother talk about tie and Jesus. when Jesus, I stood up there thinking this evening, when Jesus was carrying the cross, he didn't have on a suede shoes. No. Right. He didn't even have dragons on, he was barefoot. Yes. Mm. His clothes were torn. Yes. He was bathed in blood. Uh -huh. for you. Yes, sir. Go ahead. He became a pauper. So that we might be rich in him. Yes, sir. He became dead so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Yes, Amen. Oh, bless you. Paul had to convince them that he had to die. Mm -hmm. He had to suffer. The Bible tells us he is touched with the very feelings of our infirmity. So whatever you're feeling tonight, are you feeling alone? Are you feeling alone? Are you feeling destitute? He died so that he can replace that destitute that you're feeling, that hopelessness. He died. This is the reason he died. So that you and I could have life. And have it more. Blessed Jesus. Go ahead. I was thinking, you know, a lot of people refuse to take heed to this gospel. Uh -huh. hmm. I think some of us have heard the message of Christ so much that we are turned off. And the Bible tells us that many will become hard. Yes. But you know something is strange, that when you die, you end up in church. Uh -huh. 
You refuse to have six men and a horse to carry you there. And people.